In this video, we're going to be practicing rounding to the tenths place. So we have three problems here. The first one is nine and five hundred and twenty-six thousandths. The second problem is thirteen and eighty-seven hundredths. And the third problem is one hundred fifty-six and nine hundred and ninety-one thousandths. So when we are rounding, the first step is we want to know what we are rounding to. So we are rounding to the tenths place. So we're gonna go ahead and in each of these problems, we're gonna underline the number in the tenths place. The tenths place is the number directly after the decimal. So we are underlining that first number after the decimal in each problem. Now our next step is we're going to be using the number to the right of that underlined number to help us decide how to round the number. So we're gonna look at the little trick we have down in this left corner, or the rule to remember. And this, these rules over here are gonna help us with rounding today. So the rules are one through four, shut the door, and five through nine, climb the vine. So that number after the underlined number, we're looking to see if it's one through four. If it is, we're going to just keep that underlined number the same. If it's five through nine, then we're going to increase the underlined number by one. Another thing to remember is that after you've changed that underlined number or kept it the same, all the numbers after it will turn to zeros. So let's try one. The first one is nine and 526 thousandths. So we're looking at that number after the five. And we're gonna think in our rule, is that one through four or is that five through nine? it's one through four. So we're gonna shut the door or we're gonna leave that five alone. We're gonna keep it a five. And again, everything after the five will turn to zeros. So our answer is nine and five hundred thousandths. The next one, we're looking at that number to the right of the underlined number. Is it one through four or is it five through nine? It is five through nine. So this time we're gonna climb the vine or increase that underlined number by one all the numbers after the underlined number turn to zeros. So our answer is 13 and 90 hundredths. Our last problem, we're looking at the number to the right of the underlined number. It's a nine, so our rule says five through nine, climb the vine. So this time when we climb the vine, the no underlined number is going to turn to a 10. So that's gonna turn to a zero in that nine spot and we're gonna have to carry the one over to the left, making our answer 157 and zero on the other side, because our nine changed to a 10. So our answer is just 157. 